Today we're going to talk about high deductible health plans and how to know if they're right for you. Did you know that high deductible health plans are the, the enrollment in those has been steadily increasing over the last few years. I've seen it in my own business. I have clients that ask me about it all the time. And now the whole idea behind a high deductible health plan is going to be paying less on a monthly premium. So people are looking to pay, have a little bit more affordable monthly premium payment. And especially this is the case when they're healthy and they don't think they'll really like use their insurance. They would rather have the lower monthly uh, monthly payment and then have a higher deductible where they would just pay toward that deductible if something happens. So how do you know if you're a good candidate for a high deductible health plan? I would recommend these types of plans to any healthy person that wants to pay less on their monthly premium. So they want to keep their monthly payments a little bit on the lower side. And also let's say they want really good access to doctors and hospitals. So they want a strong network, but they don't want to pay so much monthly and they're relatively healthy and they don't mind paying out of pocket for like the day-to-day -day stuff, like any doctor visits. That's, that's who would be a good candidate for these type of plans. Another thing that I would recommend uh, to people that are looking at getting a high deductible health plan is to cover themselves for the expected unexpected things, which are really Really accidents and injuries. So a healthy person, you know, is less likely to be diagnosed with a chronic disease, but more likely to have a sports injury where they need, you know, to have a minor surgery on, the, on their knee or something like that. All of that is accident related and there's coverage that's supplemental that you can add on to give you that little bit of a cushion. And so working with someone who knows how all these little bits and pieces work together is really helpful to do. So who is not a good candidate for a high deductible health plan? It's really all about your comfort level on your exposure. If something really big happens, what are you comfortable paying if it's something unexpected that you, you, know, you weren't planning on? Some people are just more comfortable at their cash flow and budgeting month to month and they'd rather just pay more and know that if something unexpected happened, they, um, they would have to pay a lot less. Another case where it might not be the best option for you is if you're getting treatment and especially expensive treatment for any chronic condition or you're on a really um, expensive medication, it might not be the best thing for you. Again, everybody's situation is unique and there's so many different ways to look at this. It's definitely not black and white. And so again, consulting with a, cons uh, like a licensed agent like myself, will really help guide you and make the right choices. So if you're considering a high deductible health plan, you've pretty much got to expect that nothing is going to be covered until you hit that deductible. So you may go years which with feeling like you are really not getting any value for your insurance or that you're not using your insurance. Um, on the marketplace, they do have to cover your preventative, your annual physical, OBGYN visit, you know, immunizations for kids, some labs, the, the, just the preventative care has to be covered on the marketplace, it, you know, so if you're in network. But with anything else, you're pretty much not gonna have any coverage. So what I would invite you to consider is what I tend to recommend to my clients who are healthy. It's, it's almost like a hybrid. It's really like the best of both worlds. So you still have a lower monthly premium, which is really everything that people are looking for. You have an amazing PPO network. You have a deductible, but you also have a lot of day-to-day -day coverage. So I build these plans for my clients so that everything that you need and that could possibly happen, you're taken care of and you're less likely to have to fork out money later on. And now they're not for everybody. You've gotta be healthy. You gotta be able to pass the medical underwriting. But if you are, it's a great money saver and, also, and, you're, not, and you're not giving up the um, access to doctors and hospitals. So you're not giving up the quality of the healthcare for to get a lower price. So if you're curious and you want to learn more, I would love it if you reached out to me. I would love to help guide you and your family. You can find me at alexthehealthagent.com and also follow me on Instagram where I have a lot of fun and educational videos like this one. And if you found this video helpful, I would love it if you shared it and also comment, like, and subscribe.